Hey, so this is kind of out of nowhere, but I really wanted to take a chance to uh, show people my book collection. A lot of people know that I like to write. I also like to collect books. Sometimes I read them, sometimes I don't, but I like having them. Uh, this one right here is the Cavalcade of the Comic. It was actually published in 1953, and it's a collection of um, just dramatic comedies from uh, various eras. Uh, it's really cool. I haven't read this at all. But I just, you know, I really liked the cover. I liked what it had in it. I thought it'd be cool to be something on like my coffee table or something. And uh, yeah, it's a cool find. I found it in the York Emporium, which is a store downtown, which is definitely worth checking out. Um, this one is Ari Up by Sylvia Platt. This edition was actually first released in 1960 and uh, definitely has that feel to it from the pages. You can tell it's old, you can tell it's been in a lot of libraries. It's really cool to find something like this with the cover somewhat intact. Um, but yeah, it's a really interesting book. It was actually edited by um, her husband, uh, Ted Hughes, which is a cool little piece of trivia. This book was actually lent to me by my sister, and I still haven't given it back because I like it a lot. It's written by Khalil Gibran from 1920s. This edition was released uh, sometime recently though, 1995. But uh, Khalil Gibran is a really interesting writer. Some would say well before his time, wrote some very spiritual, um, alternative spirituality texts in the 1920s, which is really interesting. This is The Curmudgeon's Guide to Getting Ahead. This was actually a book recommended to me by a professor in college. Um, it gives you a lot of career advice, but it does so in a way that's in a manner such as a curmudgeon would do it. Um, a curmudgeon basically just describes anybody who's very set in their ways, very nitpicky, very uh, detailed in the way they approach things. I know some people like that, you might too. But yeah, really interesting book for career advice and professionalism. Um, never finished it. <laughs> this one was actually a gift from my father. Uh, it's a collection of poems by Jim Morrison, the lead singer of The Doors. I definitely read every single page of this one. Um, and my favorite thing about this book is that it has some, well, it has pictures of him from the glory days of the 60s, but it also has some of his handwritten poems, which I find to be really interesting to look at. This book is Broken Rococo Art. I haven't read it, but I wanted to read it when I bought it. I found this at a bookstore in Squirrel Hill in Pittsburgh while I was there. And um, yeah, it's really interesting to look through. It's kind of like having a museum at your fingertips. Lots of different pictures of uh, different uh, styles of Rococo and Baroque architecture and art. Um, basically everything you need to know about this art style in this period. And uh, it's really cool to have something like this. You don't really, with all the print media out there and different websites, it's tough to find stuff like this, but whenever you do, good sources of information. And this one was also a gift from a good friend. It is Leaves of Grass by Walt Whitman. Um, I love this book just because it's Got a very sturdy cover, you can tell when you're holding it, it's going to hold up for a long, 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 long time. This was uh, released in, in this particular edition, it does not have a year, so we'll never know. <laughs> Following your room. But it's the original version of this text, as you can see, it says of the editions of 1891 and 2, so this is the original text. Um, and yeah, it's great to have something like this, especially for Leaves of Grass, because the best place to read this book is outside. So, you know, this thing's gonna see some, some action. But yeah, so that was a quick little video showing off some of my books. I might make another one, I might not. Um, but yeah.